of the 300 global customers around the world that we train, there are some commonalities to what made them incredible at not only learning, absorbing, but then becoming digital businesses. Microsoft, Teleperformance, CA, Workfront, Thomson Reuters. What do they all have in common? Number one, when they started this journey, some of them like CA and, and Thomson Reuters started this journey in 2013. And they have been picking away division by division, seller by seller, new hire by new hire, and digitizing their sellers. Why? Because they took the customer the center of it all. All they did was they just walked a mile in their customer's shoes and they said, how does a customer buy? Wow, okay, a customer learns through their online networks. A customer downloads blogs. A customer watches videos. Well, we're going to sell the way our customers absorb and learn. Number two, this digital strategy then becomes an executive priority. If you own a small business, that means that you need to do this. There's a concept of ditch diggers and foremen. That means that you as a leader need to do this yourself and you need to show by example. And from a leader of a bigger business, you need to lead by example as well and have the team recognize that of the top three initiatives you're working on this year, becoming digital sellers has to be in that top three. If it's not, don't do it. Honestly, postpone it. Wait till next year. Do not try to do this hap haphazardly to transform a business to become digital. That means that this is what you're going to work on for six months or a year. Number three, learning becomes a culture. You're, you're willing to fall down. You're willing to embed this into your DNA and measure it and evolve. You don't have a team that rolls their eyes and cries and whinges when it comes to learning new skills. You know, they kind of walk in with their tail between their legs like, oh, my God, more learning and training. That's not going to work. You have to have a culture that says, hey, I'm do what I'm doing is working. I'm doing great. But there's always more skills I can acquire. And I'm going to take an hour out of my week to learn a new skill. Number four, accountability to change is the responsibility of the sales leadership to transfer to the sales professionals. Where I see the biggest failure in frontline sales managers is they think that whether it's sales enablement or ourselves or people are going to transfer these seller skills and that the leaders can sit behind a desk and just watch spreadsheets all day long and they themselves don't need to become digital and they themselves don't need to be a coach. Failure. It will never take hold. It will never become part of the, the company's culture long term. The sales leaders need to take responsibility to recognize you are the coach. You are the ones that, that are in the one-on-ones hearing the stories and you can guide them as to the right activities. Number five, digital is embedded into your existing sales process and methodology. Here's a, here's a simple tip. One day the word social selling and digital sales won't exist and it shouldn't because all it really is is selling. The only reason we give it a, you know, a sexy little certain name is so that for search engine optimization, you can identify with this key term. But long term, this just becomes part of the way you sell. There should be no difference when you leave a voicemail and you send out an email, you should also make a customer a quick video. When you send somebody a PowerPoint presentation, you should embed it into a LinkedIn point drive so that you can track buying intent and map the buying committee. Instead of mailing them a booklet, you can send them this podcast, or sorry, this webinar, and this is just a digital version of the same sales plays you're already running. That's all that you're trying to do. Number six, marketing can't take a back seat to this. Marketing alignment is needed to fuel the conversations for your sales army, for a distribution army. Marketing's job is to create, organize, help distribute and evaluate the engagement of great content and insights. Marketing needs to be at this table to help you along the journey. And number seven, be willing to fail. Be willing to test, measure, improve. Change management is healthy. I think as my own self as a leader, every initiative that we've stopped and started and never took route, it's all my fault. It's because I didn't take accountability to seeing this through.